yesterday. I made a video, so I didn't have time to make another one. So, the gist of yesterday is the whole landfill is just a big clay pit. In the past two days, I'm unable to drive in it at all. And now, uh, I posted the dash cam video of it. Now I'm getting hooks from my truck. My next step, I guess, is trying to get some sort of mud tires. But that amount of clay and all that, I ain't gonna do nothing. So pretty much, it's raining all week until Friday. Today's Tuesday. So it's very unfortunate for me. But that's what I'm gonna have to deal with for the next week. <sighs> Anyhow, I don't know. Today I'm going to a different landfill. So I have much better success there than I do at the other place. And you know, I don't understand why they don't dredge it or, or whatever. They have the machine to do it. You know throw some stone down, they don't throw stone down, anything to help us, they don't do it, I, I don't understand, I tell the office this, but that fears, you know, keep giving me more scraps, ain't a butt to do, I go out, hook in there before I go there, put a metal slider on, out to the bumper of their machine. Pull me up a big hill, hope it don't rip. Then, you know, if I can't maneuver or move, then they gotta be towed to where I gotta go. Then I gotta go out, unhook it, wrap my cord around my mirror, because there's no point in me taking it off. Go to the back of my trailer, hook up, drag backwards, dump, go back in the front of my truck, you attach what's in front of my truck back to the machine and get pulled out. And hope that I can get up there massive hill, empty, with no stone on the ground. I just exhausting, you know. A, a 20 minute routine job becomes an hour or more. And the pay doesn't change. So, yeah. Welcome to my profession. So, yesterday I made a video, so I didn't have time to make another one. So, the gist of yesterday is the whole landfill is just a big clay pit. For the past two days, I'm unable to drive in it at all. And uh, I posted the dash cam video of it. Now I'm getting hooks from my truck. My next step, I guess, is trying to get some sort of mud tires. But that amount of clay and all that, I ain't gonna do nothing. So pretty much, it's raining all week until Friday. Today is Tuesday. So, it's very unfortunate for me that that's what I'm going to have to deal with for the next week. <sighs> Anyhow, I don't know. Today I'm going to a different landfill. So I have much better success there than I do at the other place. And you know, I don't understand why they don't dredge it or whatever, they have the machine to do it, you know, throw some stone down, they don't throw stone down, anything to help us, they don't do it, I, I don't understand, and I tell the office this, but that fears, you know, keep giving me more scraps, ain't a butt to do, I'm gonna go out, hook in there before I go there, Put a metal slider 
air on, out to the bumper of their machine, pull me up a big hill, hope it don't rip. Then, you know, I can't maneuver or move, and they gotta be towed to where I gotta go. Then I gotta go out, unhook it, wrap my cord around my mirror, because there's no point in me taking it off. Go to the back of my trailer, hook up, drag backwards, dump, go back to the front of my truck, reattach my front of my truck back to the machine and get pulled out. And hope that I can get up there massive hill, empty, with no stone on the ground. Like just exhausting, you know, a, a 20 minute routine job becomes an hour or more. Pay doesn't change. So, yeah. Welcome to my profession. For a year to. So, I get to the other landfill, and uh, must be a mess up there. Apparently, there's a flatbed truck that's stuck and buried. And uh, I guess. Another company are listening. It's supposed to be uh, one particular vehicle, whatever you're dumping up on the hill. Time and there's three of them, and now they're kicking them out. The people have lost their minds. The workers here. Hey, Jay. And I wonder if I can catch some of this conversation. It's very interesting how they talk to us, you know. So, so uh, the guy that's up there now, the uh, part around the bulldozer, has basically said that that truck is going to sit there until he goes home. Her, Someone else is going to deal with it. Alright, thanks for that. Some interesting attitudes. And uh, so I'm the far back to the line. Looks like that flatbed's trying to turn around on the hill. If I call in, I guarantee I'm going to hear some kind of ball busting. So I guess I'm going to sit here and wait 